My name's Carol Summerside. I work at Newcastle University in the Quality and Learning and Teaching Unit, which is responsible for quality enhancement and quality assurance here at Newcastle. And my particular role is Development Officer with specific responsibility for the RECAP Lecture Capture Project. The project I'm involved in is the RECAP Lecture Capture Project, which has been running here in Newcastle since about 2008. And the purpose of the project is to allow lecturers to capture live the events that they give in lecture theatres. So it records the audio, so what they say, and the visuals in terms of what they show on the computer screen, what goes through the projector. However, we don't record video of the lecturer. The recordings are then turned into various different formats and made available to the students via a website where the students have to log in and then they can view the recordings and use them for revision or to make additional notes. Um, we've had a few IPR issues and challenges with this project. Um, because we're basically turning something that in the past has always been a one-off live event, students are in the room, they see it, that's it, into something that's been turned into a different format and available in a different way for students to watch multiple times, it's raised quite a lot of issues for both staff and students. And I think a lot of them might be similar to the types of things that people are experiencing with OER type projects. So. Firstly, one of the big ones is staff rights with regards to copyright and performance. So here in Newcastle, when staff produce teaching materials, they become, you know, they belong to the university, the university holds the copyright. This is obviously slightly different now because they make it, it's a performance and it's a recording, which is something we've never done before. So obviously staff are concerned about that. The second big one is the issue with third party materials. So things that they've got clearance to use in the lecture environment, they're now unsure whether they can use it in this situation because it's been turned into a different format and made available in a different way. The other one is uh, students. So, you know, what happens if a student's recorded, if they're asking a question, if they're given a presentation, that sort of thing. So we've got concerns around the students from that point of view, but also from the point of view of making sure that students don't use the recordings in an inappropriate way so that they don't end up on YouTube or on Facebook or something like that. So as I've already explained, the RECAP project has raised a lot of issues with regards to copyright, IPR, staff rights, student rights, and it made us very aware that we had no measures in place to cover this type of work or similar things. So, you know, the virtual learning environment or any OER materials. So we've done a number of things to try and rectify this. The first one has been some changes to staff policy to basically include performance rights as something that the university has copyright ownership of. So when the staff make the recordings, the university owns the rights to those recordings. However, we were very keen that staff still had the right to use it themselves if they did go anywhere else. We've made sure we included that as well. In terms of students, we've made some changes to the um, IT services agreement that they sign up to when they start at the university to make sure that they understand that these recordings will be taking place. It's for their benefit and for use during study, but not for them to do anything else with. In terms of the concerns around recording students, we've managed to avoid too much worry over that by not recording the students. So basically only staff are recorded. If students ask questions, we ask the staff to repeat them back so that student voices aren't heard. And because there's no video in the room, the faces of the students aren't recorded either. And finally, something that we became very aware that we didn't have in place already was a takedown policy for any resources that we put online. So we've, put a, we've developed a generic takedown policy that applies to RECAP, but also other projects.